Hey guys, Andy McCann from CrossFit Garage, where competition is king and routine is the enemy. And here are some of the fun things that are happening. Remember, on July 23rd, we've got our seminar. If there is a ton of people, we will move them quickly through this and hold tight to the time constraints. If there only ends up being 10 of us, then we will alter it a little bit so that we um, are more clever with our time and probably get us out a little faster. Then on August 13th, we're going to hit Stone Summit Climbing. That's my daughter climbing up one of the walls. At 4 o'clock, there is a belay seminar. So those who would like to learn how to belay and to make the time more fun for all of us, we can have six people go through that belay class, and um, then we'll be able to belay each other on the walls. Uh, so six of you guys, I'd love you if you're going to come. Come early, show up for that. It is, I think, $15 to do the belay class, and then that also pays for your day at the gym. Otherwise, it's $20 to um, have all day climbing at their gym. So they provide you with everything. You just show up with, I guess, shorts and a shirt, really, and they'll give you shoes, and the shoes hurt, and they have harnesses and all that you can rent or you will rent when you pay them your money. There is a big old waiver involved, so if you bring in minors or sending them without the guardian – which I hope that doesn't happen because it's not a, I guess, that type of event. <laughs> but if it does, I guess you need to make sure you get that waiver signed. On October 8th, uh, soccer allowing for me to be there, but on October 8th, we are going to get as many people as we can to do the Frogtown Trail Challenge, which happens over in uh, coming. So they have a four-mile, six-mile, and a ten-mile option, and the course is not really all that rigorous. There is a one-hill climb that I think you end up using your hands to go up, but it was a lot of fun. Not quite as intense as an obstacle race and not as mundane as a 5K, so this should be a little bit of fun to get out there and spice up the day. It does start kind of early, so we'll get out there and be done by noon, I think. Lastly, as we get closer to the end of summer and we start school or school starts back up for all the little ones and routine and life get back to normal for the rest of us, um, Griffin will be putting his, uh, well, I would say two cents, but it's more like a $100 bill of knowledge into programming. So Griffin and I are going to be working together on programming. He's got a lot of great ideas. He's been programming for uh, competitors, for individuals, um, some of the folks on the team. And you've obviously seen what he's done. So he's got a different twist on intensity that still follows CrossFit principles and um, we're going to see how he maneuvers intensity between lifting and metcons. Um, as I've always been saying, routine is the enemy. So don't ever get in a situation where you're just doing, you know, I do lifts and then I work out. Remember how we used to all do lifts first and now we don't. And when I put it back, y'all were all mad. <laughs> so routine is the enemy. Always change it up. That's one of the best things you can do for your body. Keep things different and keep moving with intensity. So Griffin will be programming um, starting in August for a bit, and then Josh will take over after that, again, trying to fight routine. Some things will be common, like we will do certain workouts, like Grace and Helen and so forth. Some of these bigger named workouts, we will do those over and over to give you a great place of testing to see where you've been and are you getting fitter, because just simply feeling better is great, but it's nice to see these numbers go up too, as well as uh, going for one rep maxes, because if you can lift more, then you're getting stronger, so we like to see that too. If you all have any questions or comments or concerns, please shoot them back to me.